Good morning. It's Friday. It's the pour day. It's actually the third pour of this big job. If you ever want to go, eh, if you haven't want to go watch this video of when we did the stairs, the border, and the wood plank stamp, video should be up. I would assume it'd be up. But we're on the last and final pour of this job. It all looks the same color as because we use the same powder release for the stairs border and this patio but once we power wash it'll be a different color but this patio today will be a completely different color than all of this so three different colors like i said in the last video this color of this patio will be uh i think land and stone it's kind of like a tan color kind of like that shed the border and the stairs was harvest wheat and then the wood plank was gull gray, which turned out very nice. The wind kind of took off some of the powder release so you can really see the texture in all the wood planks. Looks very nice. But yeah, this patio will be laying in stone concrete and then the release we got for it will be, I think, Mojave? Mojave? However you say that. But it kind of kind of has like a tannish color to it kind of like my skin it'll be cool we never we never use this color yet but should be good hey. there's the boss man <laughs> these are the stamps we're using today this is our floppy stamp it's kind of just like a it's a texture stamp but the these texture stamps we're using today are the rough stone this is the heavy stone so it's got a lot more texture compared to this but yeah we just got plastic ready yesterday we got lucky with the rain concrete truck got here and the rain stopped and then it didn't rain the rest of the day we just got this prepped and ready just in case it does rain you always want to be safe and sorry happy friday yep and we'll be back here tomorrow, hopefully. It says it's going to rain all day tomorrow, but we got to come back here tomorrow and power wash everything to see the true colors. And then we'll probably come back another Monday. day to, Monday okay. to seal it. Concrete should be here in about 20 minutes.
just like yesterday when we're when we're making around the border when we're doing a separate border like this gotta make sure it's level and so the water pitches off of it that one yesterday we did perfectly <laughs> Uh, didn't, no, I hope you're not, did not have to work Saturday. <laughs> How much you got left? About a quarter yard. Sweet. Don't be like, Wiggins, you want to help me with this again? Yeah. You need a little more back there or what? Just like a quarter of this. The whole on top of me. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. It happens. I spilled the whole wheelbarrow. Um, honestly, just. Oh, this really? Bruh. I just stuck my the trouble in this and it farted. He had about a quarter yard left. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's all flat. We just went around the edges and made sure there was no holes. Made sure there's perfect level with the with the border. Coming out the truck, it didn't look so tan, but now it looks nice and tan. All these colors should look nice together. I'm excited to pressure wash it. Yeah, dude. With all due respect to you guys, how the fuck did you plan on doing that off with just two guys in this heat? What? Me. Bradley was going to try her and I was going to shovel it. This? You guys are something else. <laughs> you seen Irish? Dude, we were going to do I the stairs and the border just us two. Thank God Wiggins came to help. That would have been stressful. Like pushing them limits, boys. <laughs> I know what I can and can't. Yeah. Man, after a first few loads, I seen you're like wet in sweat for oh, really? heat. I was like, yeah, that sun I came out. It got the hot. The whole time I was saying like, how the fuck did you plan on doing this by himself? <laughs> I would have got off the tractor and helped. I am the power truck. I am the buggy. That corner would have been the worst. I would have had Riley come over here and dump it right here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's the only corner I would have pulled. It's just mud. Yeah. <laughs> just tanky. We were going to put plastic over the steps and the border, but we got to pressure wash it anyway, so it's good. We put that tape right there. That's really the only concrete that got on the step. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you got something to go, you can go over if you want to hang out. We don't have lunch for you today. <laughs> just mm -hmm. added in the contracts, plus lunch needed for X amount of days, yeah. I'll be here. <laughs> yeah, right. Can't keep it balanced. Yeah. <laughs> then. We have a bunch of these rock forms, so when we have extra concrete, we can put them in, make forms, and vibrate them. They turn to, they turn out pretty nice every time. We probably have over a hundred of them by now, for sure. These are kind of wet, but look pretty nice. Around. And then it's gonna 
Connor just went on, or got on, went around the stairs and finished nice and smooth or all around the stairs. And then before we stamp it, we'll go on the stairs and get a nice texture all along the, right outside the face of the bottom stair. So then we don't have to worry about it when we're out there. And probably along the house and right here. And we pulled the tape off the face. You can see that looks very nice and clean. Circle stamps today. I only got two of them, plus ours. Huh? One and five. Nice. Well, we are all fin or not all finished, we're not even close to finished, but the concrete part is done. It'll be three different colors after we pressure wash it. That'll be in this video. We're gonna come back here tomorrow and pressure wash it. If it doesn't rain, even if it is raining, we're still gonna come here, but tomorrow is supposed to pour in a thunderstorm all day. So I'm glad we got this big project done in time for the weekend. There's a whole siding panel that's underneath this mulch. So this grating on this house is really off. And then down there, it's below the siding. And the siding on this is honestly a little crooked. You can kind of see how the concrete's two inches below. And then right here, it's pretty much level. And we put a bubble up on the siding and it's, it's pitching this way just a little bit, which is weird. All right, we'll be back in the morning to pressure wash it, and then we'll be back next week to do some sealing. Yeah, this is a nice, nice rough stone texture. It's hard to tell with all the powder on it, but it'll be nice. These two colors, the border and this will be almost the same color, I feel like. It just yeah. This will have a, denter, or a darker tone to it. It'll be darker in the creases. 
See a nice handprint over there. Say what? Damn. And all night. Well, I wanted to go fishing tonight, so hopefully it doesn't rain. It's full moon. Yeah. We're gonna cover this with plastic because it's gonna mount soon tonight, and we don't want all the powder to wash off. So, see you tomorrow. And let me pressure wash it. Well, happy Monday. We came back here Saturday and Sunday. We pressure washed the border, the wood plank and the stairs on Saturday. And then we came back on Sunday to pressure wash this patio. Cause we like to wait 24 to 48 hours before pressure washing it. But we just sealed it, just backfilled the edges. I'm filming on my phone right now cause I forgot my GoPro. And Saturday and Sunday it was pouring out so you didn't, you won't get to see the satisfaction, the tongue twister word of pressure washing this because it was pouring. But I think I took some small clips on my phone, but it looks beautiful sealed. Texture looks really nice. Definitely the most colorful job we've done yet. Yeah, this is probably the funnest job we've done yet. Kind of hard to see the stairs in the in the reflection. But it turned out super nice. This will be like a basic patio, and this one will have a gazebo over it. So it'll kind of be like two patio vibes. Yeah, Saturday it was pouring, but this needed to get pressure washed, so we had to pressure wash it in the rain. That's okay. The rain kind of helped us wash it off, so that made it easier. Yeah, let me take my boots off so I can show you the stairs. Really nice. I love the texture on this, this looks sick. But yeah, we put two uh, coatings of sealer on, sealed it, waited five minutes for it to dry, and then went back over it again. And a lot of these times, these freaking sealers, they spray nice, but sometimes they leave dots, so you gotta brush it in sometimes, but that's common. It helps fill every crack with sealer, so it looks nice. All right, we're gonna finish backfilling and then stare at this for like an hour and probably go to a new job, so.